It is January 16th, 2021. And in this video, I'm going to go over where can Americans travel and the restrictions that you may need to adhere to. Follow along. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. It is January 16th, 2021. And in this video, I'm going to go over again where Americans can travel and if there are any restrictions for said travel. Is Columbia late to the game when it came to asking for a PCR test or is it just par for the course? And we're gonna jump through that. First, a bit of housekeeping. If you're getting any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, share and like. Like, like, like helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps more people get to see my video when YouTube says, okay, a certain percentage of the people that watch those videos hit like, then let's share it to other people. So let me give you a go-go break where you can go down and hit like. Okay, welcome back, appreciate that. And for everybody who hit like, out of sight, you all right. That's right. So appreciate you guys for uh, joining me. In this video, again, I'm gonna use CNN Travel as as uh, my source because I think they up, updated maybe two days ago. It's hard to find these sites where, you know, it may be a week ago or two weeks ago. And you know, especially if you're going to Columbia, you know things change by the hour. So, okay, I'm going to skip through most of these countries because they're outside of this hemisphere and focus on uh, Central and South America because that's the easiest places for you to get to where you can get a straight shot or two flights, even if that. Okay, Albania, Anguilla. Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, so maybe you want to go to Antigua and Barbuda. What do you need? U.S. travelers 12 and older to Antigua and Barbuda arriving by air must present a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test taken within seven days of the flight. So, guys, you know, we've had this conversation for what, the past month or so? What's the use of a seven-day PCR test? The only th good thing about seven days is you got enough time to get the test result back. The bad thing is, it's irrelevant by the time you get it back. So anyway, Aruba. Uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 follow information for Aruba. Okay, the Bahamas. Can you go to the Bahamas now? They were open, then they closed, then they opened, then they closed again. This is an update. Visitors 11 and older to these sun-kissed islands must have a negative COVID-19 PCR test. There you go again. Uh, no more than five days old before arrival. Again, five days? Uh, are you serious? So when you hear 96 hours, that is good. I mean, the closer 72 hours, really they should all be taking a rapid test so we can check more people. Just my personal opinion. You do a rapid test, it may not be as accurate, but at least you're gonna get more people. So you're gonna cover more ground instead of fighting to get people to take this PCR test, which will be irrelevant by the time they get on the plane. Let's check the odds. Bangladesh, anybody up for Bangladesh? Okay. Barbados. Okay. U.S. citizens must complete an online form and submit it 24 hours before travel. The U.S. Embassy reports you must present a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test taken within 72 hours. There you go. The same as Colombia, 72 hours. They want a PCR test too. I think again, from reading a lot of stories and checking out a lot of sources, I think they're going to end up going with the rapid test. They, they have to. They have to make this uniform. They want people to travel, so they're going to do what they can to get people to travel. So Belize, okay, known for its jungle wildlife and diving, is also international visitors, including U.S. citizens. To enter, you must download the Brazil Health app and have a negative COVID-19 PCR test. Another. Within three days, okay, again, so they're talking 72 hours right there for a PCR test. And again, requiring PCR tests, difficult to come. You guys know. Um, okay, uh, Bermuda. Who wants to go to Bermuda? The Bermuda Triangle. Each inbound passenger 10 or older can apply for travel authorization that costs $75. What's that for? Travel authorization. And $30 for flight crew and children nine under. Upon arrival, passengers must present a negative COVID-19 PCR test taken no more than five days. Again, useless. Okay. Uh, Let's go on. Uh, Bolivia. OK, here we go. South America. This landlocked South American country also allows visitors to have a negative COVID-19. OK, so you have to have a negative COVID. Check this out. Negative COVID test taken within 10 days of the flight. Totally useless. Totally useless. 
I mean, unless you're housed in an, in, in the airport hotel, this is useless. Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina. Anybody up for Bosnia? I actually drove through Bosnia when I was in Croatia to get the one one side to the other. You have to go through Bosnia. Um, the U.S. Embassy in Bosnia says, oh, I'm, let me see. I doubt if you're going to Bosnia. Botswana, anybody up for Botswana? Brazil. OK, starting December 30th, Brazil has uh, is banning entry by land and sea with all uh, exceptions. I started to realize why they, you know, like Colombia, uh, stopping people from coming in uh, land and sea. And that's because more people can come in that way. You can send a ship full of infected people and they you let them right off into the community. So that may be the reason that they stop the uh, uh, sea travel. Um, let's see. You must fill out the health declaration and present a negative COVID-19 PCR test taken within 72 hours. OK, 72 hours makes sense. The PCR test, not so much. Cambodia. Anybody up for Cambodia? Chile. You can go to Chile. This South American country full of amazing mountains and lakes recently open to U.S. citizens. You must fill out an affidavit of travelers uh, from 48 hours or less before boarding, present a negative COVID-19 PCR test taken within 72 hours. There you go, another PCR test. Colombia, we know already all of arriving passengers to Colombia should have either a negative result for COVID-19 PCR test taken no more than 96 hours before departing, take the test upon arrival, and quarantine waiting a negative result. So we still don't know what's going to happen until you guys let me know. If anybody's flying in right now and you don't have a test result, do me a favor, pass it on to other viewers because they're going to want to know what happens when you get there because you didn't have enough time to get your test results. Will they take the test results that you took in your country, in America, that didn't come out in time? Will you have to quarantine and then say, okay, wait a minute, it came in a day after I landed. Let me show this to you. And who do you show it to, by the way? Do you take it back to the airport? Did they come to your house? Who's to say? Okay, Costa Rica. Got to go to Costa Rica. Love Costa Rica. Costa Rica is allowing residents from all U.S. Uh, states. Uh, visitors must complete a health pass form, but no longer required to take a COVID-19 PCR test. You must have proof of travel medical insurance. So they're saying, wow, you can come. You don't need a PCR test. Just have medical insurance. If you get sick, they can take care of you. That's the first. Okay, Costa Rica, top of the list right now. Dominica, Dominica. Eastern, this Eastern uh, Caribbean island is open. All travelers to Dominica must present a negative COVID-19 PCR test recorded between 24 and 72 hours before arrival. There you go. It's difficult to get a PCR test result between 24 and 72 hours. Well, I mean, that's what I guess within 72 hours is because you're not going to get it within the first 24. Uh, online portal within 24 hours. Again, everybody's tracking you through these apps. Dominican Republic... People traveling to the DR no longer have to show a negative PCR COVID-19 test result upon arrival. DR authorities will give breath tests to no more than 10% of the random passengers plus anyone showing symptoms. So I hadn't heard that. There is actually a breath test that you can take. That's the first. I now need to go research breath tests, but only 10%. So you're going to get pulled aside like TSA. Oh, what fun. Dubai. Go to Dubai if you haven't. Love Dubai. Check out my video for Dubai also. Uh, Dutch Caribbean Islands, uh, Aruba. Here we go, Aruba, Aruba. Must have a negative COVID-19 test result. There you go, which means that they're taking a rapid test too. Um, you, uh, JetBlue lets you take an own at-home saliva-based test. Let's see. Ecuador. I know a couple of you guys down in Ecuador headed north. Ecuador requires U.S. travelers to present proof of a negative COVID-19 PCR test within 10 days. Again, useless. Ecuador had some issues with the virus not too long ago. People dying in the street. They couldn't pick the bodies up in time. When the virus first broke last summer, it was bad. So uh, hopefully they recover. But to ask for a 10-day PCR test is totally useless. Totally useless. You tell me if you agree. Do you agree? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course. I think we all agree. That's what I thought. It, it totally makes no sense. Okay, Egypt, Ethiopia, French Polynesia, Ghana, Grenada. Uh, if you want to go to Grenada, um, the Caribbean island is welcoming U.S. visitors, but you must uh, take a COVID-19 PCR test within seven days. Again, useless, useless. Okay, Honduras, that was on my list. Uh, Honduras and El Salvador was on my list until I ran into Guatemala, and then it was Shoot, my next three trips were all to Guatemala. If you have not been to Guatemala, check out my videos for Guatemala. I'll leave a link up here. You have to take a look at Guatemala if you are interested in Medellin. Now, if you're going for the girls, you go to 
Medellin in Colombia. If you're going for the culture, the price, the weather, the climate, then check out Guatemala. Nothing like seeing volcanoes out the top of the uh, window where you're staying. <clears throat> okay, Honduras. Travels to Honduras uh, permitted with a negative result of COVID-19 PCR rapid test. There you go. So Honduras is the easiest to get to. By the way, they have some issues going, going on right now between Hondurans. They got hit with the with the virus on top of that, they got hit with a hurricane too. So they're having caravans trying to head north. And then the U.S. is having a Guatemalan army try to stop them at the border and send them back. Crazy. Ireland, Jamaica, find a way, if you can, by the way, find a way to give back to some of these places. If you have been before, you have more reason to give to those uh, countries like Guatemala or Colombia. I do have a place in, in uh, Colombia. If you would like to give, let me know. Jamaica is a good one. They require the completion of an online travel authorization and the possibility of being tested upon arrival. So they may test you. They may not test you. Uh, let's see. Uh, all passengers arriving from the U.S. 12 and older are required to upload a negative COVID-19 test results to receive uh, travel authorization. So, But the test results must be within 10 days of arrival. Again, useless, useless. Kenya, Maldives, Malta, Mexico. Okay, so Mexico makes more sense for a lot of you guys. Um, it's close. It's easy to get to. By the way, you still can't drive in by land, which sucks because I'm six hours away. I can be in Mexico. I, you know, when I first moved here, I couldn't believe how many people in Houston, in the in Texas that had never been to Mexico. And it's a six hour drive. Now, I drove many a time, many a time. But you can't cross over anymore by land. They They pushed it back to February, something like that. Now they keep pushing it back. Montenegro. Oh, where to go? Where's my Mexico details? Update. Through uh, the land border between the United States and Mexico remains closed until February 21st. U.S. travelers can still fly to Mexico. No testing requirements are in place, but the State Department lists numerous states to avoid. Whoa. So you could just hop on a plane and go to Cancun. Cancun is cheap from here, too. And I can't believe that they're full. But it's a logical travel destination now. So if you're in this hemisphere, bing. Now, that one goes all the way to the top, too. Mexico and Costa Rica, right to the top. Nicaragua, home of the volcanoes and beaches. Nicaragua is open. You must have a negative result from a COVID-19 PCR test or serology test. So you can do a rapid test to uh, North Macedonia. Uh, Panama, okay, here. Uh, a COVID-19 PCR or, or antigen test. There you go. With a negative result taken 48 hours or less be, um, before arrival time is required to enter Panama. That makes sense. Test results are uh, if the test results are older than 48 hours, you must take a rapid COVID uh, test. There you go. So put that at the top two. Panama is at the top two. Uh, Peru. Uh, travelers from the United States may enter Peru. Must have a COVID-19 test, 72 hours. Okay, that makes sense. Serbia, South Africa, South uh, Brits, uh, St. Lucia, St. Martin, Tanzania. Let me think where else in this hemisphere that you may want to go. UAE, again, if you can go to Dubai, yeah, that's a must do. UK is closed, of course. We don't want to go there and we don't want them coming here. Of course, we know why this new strain. But let me, I have a couple of sites that you're going to want to see. So hang on for a quick second. But let me do a little bit of more housekeeping also. This channel is a travel channel. Again, I started in Medellin, sitting on the couch in my Airbnb and stating to you, which that video is still there. Quality not so good back then. Hopefully, I'm getting better. Every video, hopefully, I'm getting better. But I sat on that couch and I told you what I was doing and why I was doing it. And that's where it began. That's where this channel began. And then it turned, you know, then I ended up in Vietnam and I ended up in Guatemala. It, you know, it became more of a travel channel. That's why my numbers aren't that high, because you can't just jump around and it would take years to get ranked high in travel. So in general. So I kind of focus more on this hemisphere for anything for right now. But in the comment sections, guys, if you are commenting on my videos, do me a favor. Don't talk about uh, politics. Don't talk about religion. Don't talk about, I got guys talking about this demons and stuff going on at night. And that's why they have people coming in at night. That's, this is not the place. And if you find like-minded people, give each other your phone number and call each other and discuss that. But for this channel, I'm trying to keep this about travel, travel to Colombia, travel to Guatemala and anywhere in Central and South America. That's what this channel is focused on. So do me a favor, keep that clean. Do me a favor, hit that uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos. But these two sites you're gonna wanna need. I went over this one videos ago and I have a, uh, quite a few new people, so I wanted to make sure I went over this again. It's the Smart Traveler 
enrollment program, the STEP program. If you are going to another country, you're going to want to fill this out. What is STEP? The, the Smart Travelers Enrollment Program is a free service to allow U.S. citizens and nationals traveling and living abroad to enroll their trip with the nearest U.S. embassy and consulate. You need to know where the closest embassy and consulate is. OK, you need to know where this is. So if you sign up, it's going to ask you for your pertinent information. And when you do that, it's going to have you on file. So if there's an earthquake, a flood, an increase uh, in COVID where they're going to shut the border and you need to get on the next uh, humanitarian flight, you'll be the next one to get alerted. I assume it's almost like an amber alert. You'll get alerted right away from your embassy of choice. You put in your account, uh, account information, all your personal information, not just social security number, but uh, your passport number it does ask for, the embassy you're going to be closest to, who is actually going, and emergency contact. So if something happens, you can get in touch. They can get in touch with those people. The last thing I want to show you is uh, travel.state.gov. You may need to know in what country you're going to where the local embassy is. If I were you, I would research this before you go. I would lock in the phone numbers in your phone. A lot of countries have WhatsApp numbers and they're using the WhatsApp numbers too. So this gets around all the uh, need of a phone call. You just need Wi-Fi, which most airports uh, have. So let's just jump through. It doesn't do it by state or by country. It does it by city. So you need to know the major city of the country that you're going to, especially the capital. So if you're going to Colombia, you need to know Bogota, Bogota. OK, so it gives you the information for Bogota, where it is, even shows it on a map. And if it uses your Google map, too. So if you zoom out, you can see in relation. Oh, I've been here before. It's up the street. It's around the corner from that. Like if I go further out, I can see. Well, a little bit further out, I can see my Medellin. So it uses your Google. So you can see in relation, you know, if it were if you're in Bogota, you say, OK, this is actually near my consulate. Um, I mean, near my Airbnb. So th this gives you some of the uh, idea of some of the things that you can take. And it gives all the contact information. Lock these phone numbers in. Lock these phone numbers in. OK, before you go, before you go to Colombia, this is a must do. Just like making a copy of your passport. Lock this information in. So, again, I hope these videos are of some service. If you're getting benefit out of my videos, Hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos and like, like, like. Again, like helps the YouTube algorithm. Isn't that right? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course. I think we all agree. Yes. Positively. Yes. We all yes. are going mm -hmm. to say yes, 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 yes. And thanks for watching. We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.